Little Busters, episode 3. Let's get into this. This episode was just okay. I mean, it just... This episode wasn't as funny as the previous episodes, and it just felt a little bit slower. Not too much happened um, either, so I think that's the other gripe I guess I had with this episode. That's why it just it just didn't it wasn't as good as the other episodes. That's that's what I can say, really. But it's not it's not a bad episode though. It's a solid episode. It's just it's just okay though, from in my opinion. So basically, from where we left off was that Ricky ended up passing out because of narc narcolepsia. But he wakes back up, and the thing is, every time he wakes back up, his friends are there, always smiling, and like nothing happened really. And you know, they're just very supportive of him, and you know, making sure every they like, basically just saying everything's okay with that with that smile, everything's gonna be okay. And so he feels reassured with his friends there all the time for him. You know, that's why he really cares about his friends. And so we get introduced to this new character. Her name is um Anigo Kuriguya, and Anigo. Basically, she's a she's very very smart. Apparently, she has like all A's and hundreds and stuff like that because she's beast. You only have to be in, in class. Like when she comes to tests, she just does it and bam. It's like she don't, she's not really there, but she does a really good job somehow. And she just she's a really really interesting character because we end up seeing her. She ends up actually actually stalling Riki for for him not going into his classroom. Where like hey, hey sit down and have a cup of tea you know, or sit down and have a drink. And he's like, like no I gotta go. Like no you gotta sit down otherwise I will kill you. You gotta sit down and do it. And Jet kept taunting him to do it. And so he's like fine I'll, for a few minutes I'll talk to you. And so he tried to sit down and the chair breaks and she's like <laughs> you trolled him. You just, you just seriously just trolled him. I'm like come on what the heck. He's like, I just want to poke fun at. She's like, why would you even, do, why, why would you tell me to sit down so bad and then you gonna just trick me like this? Like, come on now. And so he sits there, starts talking to to her and everything. But he, she, he ends up realizing, oh crap, the bell's ringing. He had to go. <laughs> and so that was one of the um, instances that happened. Then she comes back, and she she ends up challenging Masato. And Masato is like, oh, you little girl, you think you would beat me, huh? You think you can defeat me? And so that's when. Um, Kiyosuke comes in, tells her the rules, what you gotta do. Basically, the crowd throws in the item. You pick, you get the item. And that's what the weapon you're gonna have. And you know, Mazato, he just he just can't get the right item. He, he just cannot get the right item. It's so ridiculous how bad he is about to choose an item. He gets this like barrel with a, with a pirate inside of it. That's what he gets. And like some knives, like not knives, but like you know, little fake daggers, stabby thingies that goes into the barrel. And what she gets, <laughs> what I don't go get. Is a sword. And I'm like, what? It's a play, it's a play sword though. It's you know, if you get hit with it, it's still hurt, but it can't cut you. Well, that's what it seemed like because when she poked the wall, it went through the wall. So I'm like, it didn't go through a wall. It can go through some human flex. So I don't know about that. <laughs> and so basically, she ends up beating the crap out of him, but she didn't. Use, she didn't use the weapon. She used her hands and her legs and stuff. So she lost. You know, she lost. And he's like, I gotta go train because I didn't like this kind of victory, and I, I need to get stronger and stuff. And so. That's what happens, and at the end of the day, we, we see her come back once again, and Anago is like, I want to be part of the Little Busters. I want to be part of this group because, you know, this is going to be a good way to kill time because she seems kind of bored anyway. She's always just outside doing random things. Like, she's not really even in school like that, so it's just like, this is going to be something for her to kill time with, and, and Riki's like, sure, you can join, and bam, and then we got that done. Now, basically... I don't know, she she she's kind of busty, I'll have to say. And one of my favorite parts in this episode, I, I do like it. I don't know, just so it's just it was funny. Mazato had that pirate barrel thingy. He had the pirate inside because you just put like you put all the knives in there in an appropriate time. I'm thinking it will um then shoot the pirate guy out of the barrel and, and you, you know it goes in it goes somewhere. And so he he does that, and the pirate guy comes out of the barrel. And then it ends up hitting uh, <laughs> um, Anago's um, boobs. I'm like, what the heck, man? And, he's, and the girl's like, yeah, you kind of failed there. And he's like, ah, I need to get the pirate. I know. Like, look, look at all the time you had together. And I'm like, you, you, you just got that thing. What are you talking about? It's just that part right there was really funny. I, I don't. I, I like that part of the episode. Really, that was that was good. So yeah, and I'm just curious what what she's gonna contribute to the group here. Cause I, I mean, she's a nice addition to the little buses um, group here. Hopefully, we'll see um, size size Haruka, because she's another girl that got introduced in this episode, and I seen she looks like she's from the she's in the opening, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna be a part of Little Buster. So I want to see a little more of what she's gonna be doing, what kind of girl she is, because she's like what Anago is. She's very she's very tough. She's very tough. She's a good addition fighting against Masato. Uh, Masato so it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a good match with this, and she seems pretty powerful. She's very good. So I mean I, I like her character. She just, and the thing is she don't seem like she gets mad because she never like screams. She's just very calm talking. So. 
like I said, she's an interesting character. I like her. I'm just curious where the, all the drama is going to start happening at and when they're going to crew everybody and stuff like that. So I'm looking to see how all this will come together and what, like, once they get all the teammates, like, what, they're going to actually start playing against other people? Because I'm, I'm, I'm really curious about that. Because, I mean, this seems like just for fun. Like, like they just pass the time. So I'm just like, what's going to happen here? Because, I mean, they're going to have to face against somebody and wants to actually form a team. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing the progress of this series is what I'm getting at. So I'm looking forward to seeing more. What is your favorite part of the of this episode? Leo Cosmo and tell me what you think. Like if you like this review, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Little Buster reviews from me. So yeah, it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, break out.